Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, My Social Thread. I'm Crystal and this is my vlog on sewing a me-made wardrobe. So if that's something that you find interesting uh, and you like the contents of my vlogs, then please do consider subscribing. Um, I am a fairly new vlogger. In fact, I've only just started this month, January 2022. I'm in the United Kingdom, Cambridgeshire, um, and I've been sewing for about six years now. Um, I first started sewing uh, for my girls, matching dresses, as you do. Um, that was about six years ago, as I say, and my children were about eight and four at the time. My, my daughters were about eight and four at the time. And I was very content and very happy sewing for them, matching dresses for occasions, weddings, that sort of thing. Uh, and then a friend of mine, uh, Teresa, who loves to sew as well, um, saw my sewing machine in my house one day and she said, oh, I didn't know that you, you, you sewed. Um, do you sew for yourself? And I said, no, no, I could, I could never sew for myself. You know, you need an, an awful lot of skill and talent and what have you to do that. And she said, no, no, just give it a go. Start with something simple and see how you go. Um, so she introduced me to Lisa Comfort's Sew Over It Pattern Company. Uh, and I chose the simplest uh, dress they have on there, which is their shift dress. And I've got it right here. So over it, ultimate shift dress. This is in their old vintage um, packaging. Uh, they've now had a rebrand and uh, their website and their envelopes are a lot more modern. Uh, but this is the dress that I went for. And basically it's a classic, very simple shift dress, uh, three quarter length sleeves, a bust start, and I believe like a button closure at the back. Uh, you can turn it into a, um, use it into a top, turn it into a top as well or a dress with uh, flutter sleeves. So that was the first dress I ever made. Um, it fits, so I was very happy that it did fit. Um, but the fabric I chose was a quilting cotton um, because that was the only fabric that I had. And to be fair, I didn't even know it was a quilting cotton at the time. And with regard to the fabric recommendations, I just thought, well, that, well you know, they're just recommendations. It's not necessary to follow that. Uh, and obviously now I know with time and experience that you, you know, you should really go with the recommendations so that you don't suffer the heartache of making a garment, you know, putting all the effort and the hours and time into making a garment that doesn't work because the fabric choice was poor. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of this uh, anymore because that fabric, uh, that dress has, has long gone to the charity shops. Um, <laughs> but that was that was my first um, first sewing, uh, my first garment that I ever sewed. Uh, the second garment I made for myself, second garment ever that I made for myself, was again from the Sew Over It collection. This is their penny dress. And it's basically a vintage shirt dress with grown on sleeves. Uh, which basically means you don't have to add on sleeves. It's just sort of the fabric is joined onto the bodice. Um, collar and collar stand, button placket, elasticated waist, and a gently gathered skirt. Um, I made this dress, and I was very actually happy with it at the time, and I wore it uh, quite a few times. Unfortunately, that again has gone off to the charity shop because I just wasn't wearing it. After that, however, um, I did make another dress, so over it again, will you believe? It's their, again, another vintage-inspired dress. It's their Joan dress and the line drawings here it's an, another shift dress again but it's a fitted style so it's got um, waist darts here three quarter length sleeves and a vintage sort of bow which you probably see better on on the picture there and I do actually have a photo of this one. I'll pop up a photo up here. I made it in a burgundy check suiting fabric, which I got from the textile center. And it, that, this is also a fully lined dress. So it was my first fully lined dress, uh, first fitted fully lined dress as well. Um, and I really, really enjoyed making that. And I presumably I just, I whizzed through that, wore it the next day. And it was, it was a really good fit. Um, and from that point onwards, I literally just, uh, you know, went onto YouTube, and watched as many sort of vlogs and how to's on there. So I'm basically just a self-taught sewist. I haven't been to any lessons or done any courses or anything. Um, and Lisa Comfort's um, YouTube channel was really great. She's got sort of hundreds of videos on there of her me maids, um, her, her, her sewing plans, um, her sewing makes, tutorials, all various things. Um, and so I basically just went on there and watched as much as I could when I could. 
in time I obviously discovered uh, lots more pattern houses Tilly in the Buttons for example um, a very popular very big pattern house um, Tilly as you know was on the sewing bee one of the earlier ones and she did um, actually leave quite early on in the show uh, but that just goes to show that you don't have to be a winner to be a winner because Tilly in the Buttons obviously the company is 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 a big um, uh, is well known in the sewing industry she's won many an awards um sort of you know best pattern best pattern house and um, best book um and all her all her patterns are just so popular um everywhere within the sewing industry so that's great um i was also introduced to lots of other what, what else are my favorite ones um chalk and notch nina lee uh, megan nielsen patterns um friday pattern company so basically that's how I started sewing and since then I have just been um, sewing more and more. Um, I do have an Instagram account, um, the social thread, sorry, my social thread um, and on there I have discovered lots of other vloggers um, that post their makes, their fabric calls, tutorials and I've learned so much and I've really, really enjoyed the sewing community on Instagram and on YouTube, um, vloggers especially. Um, and I just thought, because I am a new vlogger, um, I just thought I'd give a shout out to some of the vlogs that I, I watch regularly uh, and my current favourites as well. Um, so right at the beginning of my sewing journey, Lisa Comfort's um, YouTube channel, so over it, definitely... Um, have watched every single video of hers. Also at the beginning of my sewing journey, uh, Shona from Sewisfaction. Um, her vlogs are all really good as well. All her makes, uh, fabric drops, um, fabric and pattern pairings. Uh, they're all really, really a good watch. Um, my current favourites at the moment is Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl. Um, I just think she's um, she's just really funny and her vlogs are informative but also chatty she, she talks about she talks to you like you're like you're a friend and she adds snippets of her life in there which is which is always nice I mean I think there is there is a fine line between being a fan of somebody and being a stalker I haven't yet quite passed that boundary so don't worry Rowan I'm, I'm not stalking you yet <laughs> um, but Rowan, I really, really do like her channel. I loved her Vlogmas as well. That was really interesting. And her opening her um, Kylie in the Machines advent calendar and the Beyond the Pink Door advent calendar. I thought that was really enjoyable. Uh, the other um, vlogger that I really like is Rachel from Stitched Up. Um, she has like hundreds of, of videos on her channel. Um, she does lovely, lovely dresses, lovely makes, uh, amazing fabric hauls. She also does tutorials and sew-alongs, which is great. I also enjoyed her Vlogmas, um, especially when her husband made an appearance and just had some funny remarks in the background. That was really great. Um, so yeah, that's Rachel from Stitched Up. Uh, the other um, people that I like to watch on YouTube are actually vloggers um, that own um, pattern, that own fabric shops. So you've got Lauren from Guthrie and Garni, who also was on the Sewing Bee. I think she was one of the finalists. I'm not sure what, what season she was in, what, what season she was in. But yeah, so I love her um, sort of um, tutorials and makes videos on YouTube. She also does the Sunday Night Live on Instagram where she answers questions live and she shows fabrics and she does pattern suggestions. Um, and um, my absolute favorite for, for Guthrie and Ghani is the, the fabric drops that she does once a month. When the new fabric comes in, she shows you the whole array of fabric. She does close-ups, she holds it up so you can see the opaqueness, the drape, um, and she also suggests patterns um, for them. Now, Guthrie and Garni, I have, like I said, watched her channel and I have followed her, and I do browse a lot on her website, but I've never actually bought from them. Um, I think because for the majority of things that I see, her her fabrics are a little bit more expensive than everywhere else. So I sort of go with everywhere else instead. Um, but I do know Guthrie and Garni do sell their fabrics at 10 centimeter increments. So if you're quite precise and you want, you know exactly what you want, that's a great way to save time and to have less fabric wastage. Um, for me personally, I 
find it difficult to buy the exact amount only because I think uh, maybe if I make a mistake or if the pattern is directional then obviously you need more uh, and sometimes I just like fabric so much I have to buy it even though I don't have a pattern in mind so I normally sort of go for three meter fabric cuts so I can have a choice um, of um, what to do with it it could be a dress it could be a blouse it could be a skirt so I have enough fabric for that um, Next, um, another vlogger that has a shop, uh, Jenny from Jenny Stitches. Um, I just discovered her recently, actually. She's got quite a library of um, of vlogs on her on her channel as well. But she does lovely fabric drops. She does some me made vlogs as well, um, and she's quite chatty on her on her um, channel as well, which is quite nice. Um, next one. So Me Sunshine, Harriet of So Me Sunshine. Um, I love the fabrics on, on their website, especially their dead their designer dead stock um, fabrics that she does lovely vlogs on whenever she gets them. I don't know if it's monthly, um, but when she gets them, I, I make sure to watch straight away because the fabrics are so beautiful um, that they, they literally go so quickly because everybody's watching this, this vlog, uh, seeing what she's got and sort of going straight to the link and buying everything. So when I get the notification for Somi Sunshine, I like to watch that one straight away uh, to get the, the first pick for fabric um, if there was something that I wanted to buy. Um, Lucy from So Essential, again, um, they have a shop um, that does fabric, but also machines, notions, everything you can think of sewing related, she does. Um, she also does some lovely tutorials um, on Instagram and her vlogs on YouTube. Are There are a lot of me maids, obviously, um, and fabric and pattern pairings, which I like because... Um, Again, it's just introducing you to fabric that you might not have seen before or fabric designers, um, different patterns as well. She does like to do a lot of the big four patterns, which is great uh, because I don't normally go for any of the big four patterns because I find the instructions aren't as thorough and aren't as hand-holding as sort of the independent uh, pattern houses um, but I do kind of want to maybe this year start venturing into making some of the big four patterns um, I do have a bird coat um, as part of my make nine so that would be a nice not an introduction into for, um, the big four because I have made some in the past and I just don't think um, the instructions as I say were, were that good and the the resulting garment um, perhaps wasn't my best and that's probably why that's that's put me off the other vloggers that I like are um, Tamlin from Sewn and the Tyne. Um, she also does a uh, the unboxing Sew Haley Jane unboxing, um, and Ruan is actually actually does the Sew Haley Jane unboxing as well. So that's always nice uh, to have a look at what's in that box. Um, to be fair, I have been tempted with the with the Sew Haley Jane box, um, and I do understand the element of surprise, and that's part of the. Um, uh, the attraction to, to that subscription box but then on the other hand um, I think that if I was to get fabric that I didn't like I would actually be really really disappointed and I would have I would think that my money you know was wasted on that box um, and through the um, sort of unboxings that I've seen uh, through various vloggers some of the fabric has been really really lovely especially the gifts that you get um, that have been really really nice but then again there have been some fabrics that I really didn't like the look of or I really wouldn't ever use it ever and so I would have you know I would think that that would have been that would have been I would have been disappointed with that box and that's probably the main reason why um, I don't really uh, go for subscriptions the only thing that I have gone for is the Guthrie and Garney sewing society box uh, because you get to see what's in it before you choose to buy it which is really um kind of like a, the best of both worlds I suppose um, and also the Fabric Godmother do a similar box but again there's an element of surprise there you don't know what you're going to get um, and I know um, the Fabric Godmother um, on Instagram they do um, obviously show you what's in the box after it's been delivered to people and some of the boxes I have really really loved um, but then it's it's too late to order them because you have to order them before <coughs> excuse me you have to order them um prior to them releasing on the video going back to tamlin on sewing the time she has now started a um i believe a children's wear 
um, business like sewing um, garments for for children uh, which is nice because I have children as well so it's nice to also see vloggers that sew for themselves and for the children. Ruan actually sews for her two boys as well. Um, Lauren uh, sews for her children which is nice. Just to mention a couple more vloggers that I like. Uh, Sean from Kittenish Behaviour again hundreds of um, of videos on her on her YouTube channel. She makes I'm uh, hundreds of dresses I'm sure um, and they're all beautiful so that's that's Sean on kittenish behavior and uh, Michelle from the sewing bunny I like to watch as well Keely voice of a creative Adele button and pip um, Sally from secret life of a seamstress she's really good to watch as well oh Kath Kath from Kath craft makes I've recently just discovered her and she's lovely she goes through all her pattern makes um, all quite quite succinctly but you get all the information you get all the sizing you get all the line drawings and um, she shows you what she's wearing she has pictures already um, and so she's nice to watch um, Karen from Devon Threadtail she's also a great watch and she features her daughters in there sometimes with um, um, knitting makes that they've made which is really nice um, and just to say yeah all of these vloggers have basically kept me company I normally have a vlog on while I'm sewing so it's on in the background while I'm sewing or if I'm just I have an eight month old baby that I'm still breastfeeding so when I'm breastfeeding her um, I can't really read because I've got baby in one arm so I can't turn the page with one hand so I normally just have the phone in my hand I know that's really bad um, but I have the phone in my hand and I just I just watch a vlog while I'm sitting there nursing my baby to sleep uh, and these are the the vlogs that have entertained me that have educated me that have upskilled me um, and that have um, you know made my sewing journey really enjoyable um, they've introduced me to new um, pattern companies new fabric companies um and i have really enjoyed uh, following them so i am wearing a me made dress today it's a chalk and notch fringe dress pattern and i've made the version of ua but with a hack so the original dress ha has a um the bodice is here it's v-neck button placket and it's got elbow length sleeves that you fold up and that you secure with a sleeve tab then it's got an elasticated waist and a curved hem uh, view B is similar it's just got a notched neckline and it hasn't got the sleeve tabs uh, and the skirt is the same so what I've done with mine is view A as I say so you've got the button placket here you've got the tabs that are actually elbow length sleeves um, and they're rolled up and then secured with a tab on each side and if I go back I've just got a belt in mind to cinch in the waist um, and attached to the bodice I have just um, connected the um, Tilly in the Buttons Lyra skirt with a pocket and I've got a tiered skirt here so the first tier is from here to here and a shallower tier from here to below my knee um, so that's the hack that I've done the fabric that I've chosen uh, to make this in is a Peter Horton um, cotton lawn and if you look at the colours, um, it's a beige background with sort of um, lilac-y, pinky, bluey floral design. Um, Peter Horton is known as, um, well, he's compared to Liberty. He's like the faux Liberty um, fabric designer uh, because his um, the patterns that he uses in his prints and the colours are very Liberty-esque, but at half the price. So Peter Horton, I believe I got this for 11 or 12 pounds a metre uh, compared to Liberty, which uh, retails at sort of 25 to 30 pounds per metre, depending on the base. Um, so, yeah that's what I'm wearing today it was um, a relatively easy so lastly I just thought I'd mentioned sort of the fabric shops that I enjoy shopping in or shopping with um, Sew Me Sunshine, um, so I have bought um, quite a few bits and pieces from there. Um, their website is really nice. Again, uh, lots of inspiration from their vlogs, um, advertising their, their new fabrics, which is always a good way to get customers in. Minerva um, is very good. Um, they're a really big company, I believe, because their, their website is just full to the brim. Um, and the good thing that I like about Minerva is that if you buy fabric, there is a no quibble returns policy. So if you buy something <laughs> um, on a whim or, a, or an impulse buy, you can actually 
you know, get your fabric, have a look at it, drape it, hold it out, admire it for a bit. And if you think actually that was an impulse buy, I'm never going to make anything out of it. Or I have too much fabric already, or I've overspent this month. You can always return your fabric, which I think is a really, really nice option actually. Obviously the tag still has to be on the fabric. It can't have been cut or washed or anything else. Um, and you return it free free returns uh, and they credit your account quite quickly after they've received it which is really nice um, so that's Minerva service faction also I've bought a couple of bits from there again Shauna is it Shauna or Shona and um, does lots of lovely vlogs on there advertising her lovely new fabrics again so that's an, a nice way to get customers in like so amazing um I think I forgot to t talk about her on on the vlogs that I watch but I do watch her vlogs as well like so amazing Guthrie and Ghani fabric godmother um Lady McElroy and Sherwoods I have got um, a vlog on um my remnants purchases from those two companies rainbow fabrics kilburn um, it's a great website their fabrics are inexpensive um they're very good um I, i've loved the quality so far of what, what i've received and they also do designer dead stock fabrics as well which is great because it's designer fabrics at a fraction of the price <clears throat> And for children's clothing um, and sort of jerseys, French terries, that sort of thing, I go to Little Legs Fabrics or Jelly Fabrics. So they're very good. Um, if you go on their websites, uh, uh, Jelly Fabrics do a... Um, a rib um, fabric matching um, service as well so if you buy like a French terry or a jersey you can ask them to match the ribbing uh, to, to that fabric so they will do that themselves because as you know it's very hard to tell the colours of things online especially if you have to match one blue with another blue uh, for them to coordinate together so they do that matching service for you um, and the last um, shop I've got Tony here I've, I've barely I've never actually used them before they're called the Crafty Mastermind but I went on there because I was looking at the um, Rifle Paper Company, their cat their canvas fabric um, and there was the Burgundy Rose, I'm not sure if that's the exact name, the Burgundy Rose canvas fabric and everywhere else I think it's like £20 per metre or more um, but at Crafty Mastermind, the Crafty Mastermind, it was only going for £10 a metre. Um, so that's like half price. It was in their sale. So I got two metres of that fabric. And when it arrives, I will I will show you. But I plan to make um, a lovely um, sort of A-line skirt out of that or a pencil skirt out of that. And I also ordered recently some, some labels, uh, garment labels from them just to get <laughs> past the... Um, the free delivery the free delivery crater so that's it um hopefully you enjoyed that hopefully i wasn't too rambling on i wasn't too much too much there wasn't too much mumbling although i've just mumbled what i've said um i've hoped you i hope you've enjoyed uh, that um if um you do like the contents of my vlog as i say uh, please do um consider subscribing um and i will hopefully see you again next time thank you so much Bye bye